in this video we will be connecting the link 4 weather station to the iGrow 800 environmental controller once you have chosen your location determined the positioning clear of obstructions that may interfere with weather readings and have assembled the weather station it's time to establish connectivity between the weather station and the 800 controller first on the back side of the weather station you want to remove the four set screws from the back plate and set it aside next you want to slide the PCB from the junction box housing and run your 10 conductor shielded cable as well as the anemometer cable through the watertight gland on the right once you've done that we want to install the anemometer wires on the lower terminal block following the color code on the printed circuit board. Once your sensors are installed, and you may want to check the sensor wiring that they're snug and tight, you want to go ahead and install your 10 conductor shielded cable on the top terminal block. As you can see, the lower terminal block is for your sensor wiring, and the top terminal block is for your 10 conductor wiring that's going to the controller. As you can see, number one is empty and number two is empty. Three is for outside temp and so is four. And this would be a red and black wire. Number five, the V plus is for the orange wire. Six, the light is the blue wire. Seven, rain, violet. Eight, the 12 volt brown. Nine, the ground gray. And then A, the wind direction is yellow. And B, the ground for it is pink. And C, wind speed is tanned. Now that we have installed the wiring on the weather station, it's time to connect the wiring on the weather station inputs on the iGro 800 controller. TAN to SPE, pink to GND here, violet to RAIN, blue to LGHT, orange to V+, yellow to DIR, gray to GND, black and red to AIN2, polarity doesn't matter, Brown to the 12 volt. Once the wiring is complete, you will need to map the sensors to the Agro 800. Now what you want to go ahead and do is hit from the controller OK, go to System Setup, and then you want to go ahead and go to Number 3 Sensor Setup. And then Number 2 is, or Number 1 is Map Sensors, and you want to go ahead and use the menu wheel to go down to the light. <coughs> And you want to make sure the light is enabled. You also want to go to the out temp, hit OK. You want to make sure it's analog, and you want to make sure it's analog 2. You also want to go to analog sensor mapping and make sure that analog 2 is checked. And save your savings. Then scroll down to win. Make sure that it's enabled. Same with rain as well. Make sure that's enabled. Now that we're done mapping, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the sensors that we attach to this controller via the weather station to the test. To get to the weather station sensor readings, you would simply hit home again from the home screen. And as you can see, you have out temp, light, wind, and rain. Now let's go ahead and test the light on the light sensor by just simply turning a flashlight on and hitting it like this. And as you can see, the light values are in fact increasing. So we know the light sensor is reading light. Now the wind direction by turning the tail fin, you can see that the, the wind direction is also changing as well. Northeast, northwest, and it's changing as I spin this wind direction. When it comes to the wind speed, I've got my handy dandy fan here. I'm going to blow these cups, and as you can see, the wind direction, the wind speed is increasing. And finally, the rain. And for this, we have a 
a damp, wet napkin. And we're just going to simply drop it on the rain sensor. And as you can see, the rain sensor did engage and, and detect rain. And it changed from no rain to yes rain. And that's our video on connecting the weather station to the Yagro 100 controller.